happy gal, aren't you? I like to think so. What do you? What's your trick? How do you stay up? I think positive thoughts. Right? I concentrate on what I do have versus what I don't have. Sounds like somebody's watched The Secret. Yes, I have. I <laughs> it love it. Help. I agree. <laughs> all right. Well, I like that tip. Thank you. Um, and if you're wondering how some people really do seem to be happy all the time, we're going to find out how. We've got mentor and author Mike Lindstrom joining us this morning with some tips. And originally when we were talking about this idea, we had been talking about this debt ceiling crisis with a lot of people concerned Wall Street being oh, yeah. up and down, up and down. And this can be really a trying time no matter where you're at in life. Well, I mean, we've got mortgages to pay. People are worried Absolutely. about their jobs right now. So, you know, any, anything you can do during these tough times to just reinvigorate yourself and, and Try to come up with some mental strategies to focus your mind. Yeah. And, so, and quit worrying about the things you can't control. We, we, we worry about so all this stuff. There's so much of that. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, just, you just read the news about what's going on in, in, uh, in Washington, and you start getting yourself worked up yeah. about so many things that are totally out of your control. There's it's pointless. nothing we can do about nothing, it. Nothing. I love this tip because you say um, the first step to being happy is to stop being so hard on ourselves. Well, one of, I think one of the challenges we have in, in our culture is we worry so much of what, what's outside of ourselves. We keep it up with the Joneses. Yeah. Somebody you work with, your neighbors, and you're always worried about what other people are doing. So one of the first things we want to focus on is focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. Focus on everything you can't control. Focus on your own mental state and make, make sure that's going in a direction that you want it to go for yourself rather than worry about what someone else is doing sure. or what you don't have in your life. I always say to myself, because I mean, it's I think it's pretty normal for those little yeah. green-eyed monsters to get in your head. Oh yeah. That's their reality. That's right. Not my reality right. and good for them and re re find your, find ways to celebrate that. That's right. That's right. And the couple of the tips that we have on here are really focusing on things that you can do immediately to reinvigorate yourself. One of my favorite ones on there, which is not an easy one. We talk about quit oh, gossiping. Yes. Okay, that's a tough one. I'll give you that. But we do. We make ourselves feel better by talking about other people, but it's a negative energy we're right. still putting out there. So we want to focus on getting, getting away from gossip. But one of my favorites on here that's one of the tougher ones is calling and forgiving somebody. It's huge. Find somebody. We all have somebody in our life. Oh my it could gosh, be a brother, a sister, ex-boyfriend, girlfriend. Somebody in your life you could just pick up the phone. You could write a letter, send it to them. I've had a couple clients do this, and they hated me for it at the beginning. But once they did it, they felt so gratified. Well, you know what they say, too? When you and Gina and Marvie and I talk about this all the time. Yeah. When you forgive someone in your life, yep. you actually release yourself. Because right. all that stuff we're holding in is only hurting right. us. That's right. That's right. One of my favorite quotes, he or she who angers you conquers you. Yes. So when you let go of that anger and that negative emotion, you're freeing yourself and you're freeing the other individual. So that's one of my favorite tips on here. It's something you could do. Uh, focusing on yourself, that's one thing. We, we, we control our focus. No one else can control that. We influenced by the things we read and the people we hang around, which is another tip we didn't include on here, which is surround yourself with positive people. Uh -huh. So which when you're can be a challenge. Exactly. But it have, is a choice. You're, you're forced to work with certain people at work. You can't control maybe the person sitting next to you, but you can control the information that's going into your mind. Maybe negative, but you got to give it some positive meaning. Well, you know what's really funny is sometimes if you can call somebody out on that, okay, come on. Right, right, right. Uh, let's turn, let's turn this, let's yeah, turn, turn this ship channel. around, turn buddy. Yeah, yeah, right? Right. No, it's true. Which can be kind of nerve wracking yep. too, but you you really do have an option right. with that. Um, when you say don't worry about what others think, that that is such an easier thing that's said than done. Right. Well, we're surrounding ourselves every day with people that are going to influence us in some way. Yeah. And we have to learn to control what parts of that conversation we want to, where we're going to contribute to. That's where gossip happens. Yeah. Somebody comes in the office first thing Monday, oh, you're not going to believe what so-and-so did. So you're automatically engaging what other people are doing rather than staying focused on yourself. So these, these strategies are not easy, but no. they're mental tips that if you found just one of these things and you did it well, and, you're, and you literally write this down. Say, for this week, I'm I am going no to work longer. On this. Yeah, I'm not going to work. I'm not going to contribute to gossip. Yep. Or I'm going to forgive at least one person in my life this week. If you did one of these things, it'll make you so much happier in the long run. I've got a challenge this forgiveness thing. If you can look at the person in their eyes and forgive them, it is an emotional experience, but it's life changing. Yeah, how few people have ever really done that in their oh, life, too. Oh, it's painful, no, but absolutely. I'm telling you, you let it go and you're yep. moving on. Mike Lindstrom, always a pleasure Thank to have you, you so here. Much. And Appreciate we're going to have all these tips up on our hotline a little later today so we're talking about this question of happiness yep. so uh, probably begs the question here the real question today is who will end up happy